Very good day to you. I am uh, Miflal from Asia Pacific University of Technology and Innovation, a, a technology-driven university located in Malaysia, Kuala Lumpur. So myself being a Sri Lankan, I have gone through my fair share of experience that you might be going through right now with regards to your higher education. And this is the stage, this is very important for you to find out the right option for you with regards to your higher studies, what sort of options you can have, what sort of a degree I'm going to take, what's the cost going to be like, what sort of scholarships that you can get into. So myself, just like just like yourself, in few years ago, few years ago, I have gone through my uh, personal experience of getting a university degree. So, being a Sri Lankan right after A levels, I, I was totally confused of what requires to be done. And then I went through uh, university options in Sri Lanka as well as in abroad countries like Malaysia, Australia, New Zealand, and so forth. And what I came across uh, about of all the countries that I've done the research on, Malaysia, which is not really the prominent option among Sri Lankans, but it's really a good option if you really do a bit of research on it, because this is a country which could really help you out in terms of your costing when it comes to higher education, because the cost factor is a very sensitive factor in Sri Lanka when it comes to higher education, because not everyone could afford to study abroad. So if you're looking at a foreign education, a quality abroad uh, education, then definitely Malaysia is your best uh, best option which Asia Pacific University provides various courses from business accounting uh, engineering design computer science and so and so forth IT programs and so on and especially about the country to be specific and we know Sri Lankans are very particular about ILTS and we are very scared generally that's that's the word I would rather use it but Malaysia is a country which you do not require ILTS for certain programs if you're coming from Cambridge at Excel or even if you've done your local A levels and O levels in English medium you could be completely exempted from ILTS which is a good relief factor and then in addition to that the course fees are very much reasonable and also so the scholarships are available and visa process is about two weeks to four weeks given your entry requirements and the best part is you do not require to show your bank statements and the finances when it comes to visa unlike other countries especially you need to show those but Malaysia does not require that so we have about four to five intakes per annum which you can join in and especially I would like to also highlight about Rohaka Private Limited which is our education partner who is basically supporting students to, to study abroad and if you go through them come to their office in Bambalapitiya you can see the contact details at the bottom here uh, you can see read out the contacts and then you can contact them and get more information about Malaysia and Asia Pacific University and you could get further details and get yourself to the next level right after your for your higher education as well as the PR settlement options as well. So contact them, contact Rohaka, come to them, come and see them and they will guide you accordingly on the way forward. We wish you all the very best. Myself, I'm Ahmed Miflal. I'm currently the regional representative of Asia Pacific University Malaysia and also a former graduate of Asia Pacific University Malaysia and a proud Sri Lankan. See you in Malaysia.